Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to Slay the Princess. In the previous episodes, we basically just slayed the princess like any normal person would and thought the game would be over, but it's far from over. We ended up with the voice of the cold. In the second part of Slay the Princess, if you haven't watched them, we didn't slay her. It was actually a much more romantic ending uh, and we got the voice of the smitten. In the third part, we also didn't slay her, but she ended up slaying herself. We ended up with the voice of the skeptical. So in this game, I'm very curious to see what other ways there is to spin the story and see what happens. Let's see what voices we get. And believe it or not, I have only achieved nine out of 97 achievements. So there's so many more scenarios to this game and I wanna check some of them out. And I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Please like the video if you like the video, subscribe if you're new and let's hop all right in, let's go. Okay, so we died, we learned a lot more of the deity. Now it's the same story of like, a gratuitous vessel, bring the prisoner's head to her. You're on a path in the woods, you're here to slay her. If okay. You can skip previously seen dialogue by hitting tab on your keyboard or RI on your controller. Or, oh, okay, right, something. Um, sure. The end of the world, what are you talking about? I, uh, from what I can remember, I haven't played this game in a while. These doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, and he's not really gonna say anything that's like, to offer monarch, be <laughs> Let's go with this one. That's the spirit. Yay, that's the spirit. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. Look at this update. Look You'll at find this. the princess within. Wow. Wait, what? Auto? A warning. Before you go any further, she will lie. She will lie and all that stuff. With this. Ignore him. Proceed into the cabin. When we take the knife, she she gives a very different type of voice. When we the interior don't the take the knife, uh, she's actually very nice. So I'm not going to take the knife. Implement. Sure. Uh, let's take the blade into the basement. Let's leave the blade. So the last time I left the blade and I actually the tried to save her. So let's see what happens now. Revealing a staircase. She's gonna sound actually sincere. By an uns her voice softly carried. Hello? Is someone there? That is actually so it's nice. Hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Uh I'm here to save you. I'm here to save. Oh, lie. I haven't chosen this one. Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. See? I see. You're trying to get her to lower her guard. It's a gamble, but it might work. I'm gonna try and kill her this time. Upstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. Last time, uh, this was like part part two where. We you walk down the stairs. Save their eyes. With so the I, want, I want to see if I can kill her. There's now. a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She might just become like horrible. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi. I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen. Forever. Shame. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. Oh, I you did. You were dearie. lying when you said you were here to rescue her, but regardless of your intentions, breaking her out of those chains would be a big mistake. Don't even try it. Hold on, let's talk a bit. Uh, first, I'll see what I can do. Examine the chains. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you. Thank you. You're making a huge mistake. No, you're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? I don't. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. I still think the narrator actually killed her. 
And if there isn't a key, do you have any other ideas? I'm going to check upstairs, maybe the key is still lying around. So basically the door shuts as we go upstairs to check for a key. Maybe there's some way to break the chains? She looks so sincere. Okay. Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. She offers the suggestion with almost complete nonchalance. Well, if you've been tied up for that long... If we were stuck down here long yeah. enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out if it meant we could finally be free. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? Try the door, return to the bottom of the stairs. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Why don't you to? let me out of the basement so I can go take the blade because there's no key and then like come down? Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Yep. There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her <laughs> oh, teeth <coughs> this shit her again? limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. I think it's the blade that it's made its way. From upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. I'm gonna say save the princess, because I know that they're gonna give me a lot more opportunities. Or should I just slay her right there and then? Let's slay her. Without hesitation, you bring the blade down and plunge it into the princess's back. Finally. The wound drives her to the ground. I actually feel sorry for her now. Okay. There's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. You, you bastard. Were you lying to me this whole time? We took the cunning route. The princess pushes away from you, the motion ripping the blade from her back. Well, she did try to bite her own freaking arm off, so I don't think a blade in her chest will do it much. Wounded, but still alive, she crouches on all fours in the corner of the room and meets your eyes with the ferocity of a cornered predator. You've made a terrible enemy, and there's nothing in the world that can possibly save you from me. Okay. I thought we had the upper hand, but it's as if she's barely even threatened by us. It's an act. She's wounded and unarmed. There's nothing she can do to hurt you. Are you sure about that? I'm not so sure. <laughs> Don't waver now. As you ready your blade to deliver a lethal blow, she lunges at your legs with the same animal ferocity she used to tear at her arm. Your knife cuts into her again and again as you're tackled to the ground, your body racked with pain as she rips into you with tooth and claw. Look at those teeth. Forget about trying to rescue her. This is about survival now. Give her everything you've got. Slay the princess, Though only your option. Your are seizing with pain, you know you've done your fair share of damage as well. Your blade having left deep gashes in the princess's back. Just by the way, I love how it's drawn, like, just look at it. Like, the artwork is absolutely amazing. You seize a moment of hesitation to throw her off of you, and shakily push yourself back to your knees. We can still turn this around. Give up, finish the job, run for the stairs and lock her in the basement, maybe she'll bleed out. Finish the job! You steal your resolve and take another step closer to the princess. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can still make sure that she won't make it out of here, either. Excuse me? What's this about not making it out of here alive? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone in this room is still standing right now. Don't act so surprised. What an asshole. Can you not feel all those gashes and holes pulling you apart? If the princess doesn't do you in here, blood loss is certain to finish the job. You take another step forward, and the princess lunges towards you. The two of you enter one last exchange, a flurry of blade and claw and fleshy ribbons. Ribbons? And then you stop. 
neither you nor Princess able to go any further. Okay, so it's a draw. You collapse on the ground, and the Princess collapses beside you. Blood pools around you both, and you watch each other fade away. After all this time alone, I thought I'd finally found a friend, but you were just another monster, weren't you? Have you seen me? I looked myself in the mirror, and yes, I'm a monster. Silence. As the room starts to get fuzzy around you. Just die already. You've paid a terrible price, but you've saved us all. It's over. If you think this is it, you're sorely mistaken. One way or another, I'll make sure you pay for this. But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark. And you die. And you die. Yay! Good luck. Chapter 2, The Witch. So what kind of voice will be in my head now? You're on a path in the wood. You're here to slay. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Wait, hasn't this happened already? Okay, no, but I died. What am I doing here? She's going to kill me again. Again? People don't die twice. You haven't even met the princess, and I hardly think she'd be capable of killing someone as skilled and courageous as yourself. How do you know I'm skilled, bro? If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yeah. Brilliant. We need to keep our cards close to our chest, and I'm not sure we can trust him. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. Did I say... Voice of opportunist. Sure okay. Slip of the tongue. Bit of the old brain fog. I meant to say that we should probably head over to the cabin and slay that princess. We already know we can't trust her, so let's get on with the show. Let's assume I'm telling the truth and all of this really did already happen. Why shouldn't should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Whatever, proceed to the cabin. A warning. The yeah, I'll lie don't anyway. Worry. You can trust us to get the job done. Proceed. Last time I didn't take a knife, so I think this time I'm gonna do the exact same. Not take the, the knife and go the in. The cabin is a mess of twisted roots. The walls a chaotic weave of knotted wood that, almost as if by accident, just happened to resemble a room. The floor is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf, with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Approach the mirror, take the blade, into the basement without anything. No blade. I hope you know what you're getting us into. That's the voice of the hero. It'll always be here if we need it. I was dying. Sure, that was also true last time and we still died, but we definitely know what we're doing this time. <laughs> the door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate the gloom here, only illuminating the edges of an opening below. It shines in the darkness like some kind of massive moor waiting to swallow you up into the earth. The air smells of dirt and copper. It's thick and wet, as if your lungs are being coated in mud with each intake of breath. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her voice skitters up from below. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Come on down. Don't be scared. I probably won't bite. <laughs> what? Um, okay. That's a little bit kinky. <laughs> I'm not nasty. Hello, say nothing. I'm not nasty. Screw it, hello. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. She must have you confused with someone else. She seems friendly enough. <laughs> Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. <laughs> you can't. Now we're gonna try and save her. Now we're gonna try and save her. To break free and end the world. There's no reasoning with what she is. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? 
do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? You need to stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. Fine, fine. You're the boss. Let's see what happens. I'm actually going to save her and- oh. Thank you. You descend the basement steps, entering the dark room below. You can just make out the shape of the princess in the gloom. She's huddled against the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots. Holy crap. It's getting wild down there. And there you are, once again seeming to offer a helping hand while likely hiding the other behind your back. Fine, I'll play along for now. What do you want? You made a comment back in the woods about having been here before. Now she's acting like the two of you already know each other. Yep. Oh, no. You've already been here, haven't you? That's pretty sharp. How'd you figure that one out? <laughs> Call it deductive reasoning. Well, you seem to be great at it. <laughs> so, you really don't remember us, do you? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even if I'm not a part of it. I won't waste time fighting you on something that's clearly true. I'm just glad we could put all this behind us. Is it all behind us? Just focus on the task at hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. My world is on the line right now, so I'd appreciate it if you would take this seriously and slay her. Let's chat her up a bit first. Maybe we can find a middle ground where everyone's happy. Agreed. Don't talk to her. You're just going to make things more difficult than they have to be. Well, I seem to remember you having a tongue. I'm sorry about the last time. Look, I made a mistake. We all make mistakes, right? I'm sure you've made mistakes. I get the sense that you're not happy with me. You scared me, okay? When you started gnawing your arm off, it scared me, so I stabbed you. Things got out of hand. I'm unarmed. That's a gesture of goodwill, so why don't we talk about it? We both died last time. Can bygones be bygones? Look, I know I know. Things got messy last time, but I think there's something bigger than both of us at work. We should team up. Why do I have a nagging feeling you're going to stab me in the back if I help you out here? I don't trust you, not enough to free you, and definitely not enough to get close to you. I'm leaving, bye. <laughs> um, I'm unarmed. We both lied last time. Bygones, bygones. You scared me, okay? Um, are we gonna... did get out of hand, didn't they? But it's hard to let bygones be bygones when they led to murder. Yeah, you killed me, bitch! And you started it. Fair enough. I'm sorry about last time. Uh, oh. Look, I made a mistake. We all make mistakes. I'm sure you've made mistakes. <laughs> I get the sense you're not happy with me. Let's go with that. Is that a joke? <laughs> Do you think a joke will charm my trust back? You'll have to try harder than that. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> it was just funny. Look, I made a mistake. We all make mistakes, right? I'm sure you've made mistakes. Ooh, smart. Let's apologize. Get us back on the right foot. The only mistake I ever made was thinking you would help me. And I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. Well, that leaves us at a stalemate. But unfortunately, ugh, I need you if I'm ever going to leave this place. I didn't bring my blade down, remember? How am I supposed to get you out of those chains? Why do I have a nagging feeling you're going to stab me? I don't trust you not enough to face, okay? Um. Oh, I don't need you to cut me out. The princess grins as the chains fall from her wrist. Oh, fuck. She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little... Witch? A woman after my own heart, really. She knows how to hold her cards close <laughs> to her chest. This is why she can't just be abandoned here. If left to her own devices, she'll find a way out. Now stop her. Why do I have an angry feeling? Okay, let's leave. I don't trust you. Let's leave! Yes, let's. She creeps forward, taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. She never breaks eye contact, even as the two of you find yourselves face to face. 
She's silent for a long moment, as if testing to see what you'll do now that she's within arm's reach. After you, darling. You're the one it lets come and go. It's best if I follow. Oh, no. We can't have that. If anyone is going to turn their back on anyone else, she's going to turn her back on us. It shouldn't matter who leads and who follows. We're working together here. Well, if it I can't believe matter, I pulled this off. She can go first. We may be in this together, but that doesn't mean we have to trust her. Somebody has to go first, and it might as well be us. We're the ones who broke her trust last time. You're talking a lot about trusting someone who, by her very definition, cannot be trusted. I don't know how many more warnings I have to dole out, but if you help her out of here, you're going to regret it. Step under the stairs, you first. That's right, you're the one who's going first. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you watching every single thing you do. She's That's a lot more exactly skeptical than what us. what I'm worried about. You step onto the stairs and begin your ascent from the basement. The princess follows close on your heels, perhaps even a little closer than you'd like. You're only saying that because you want us to feel <laughs> nervous. I do want those things, but I want them for a good reason. I don't need you to trust me for my sake because I already know that I'm right. This is for you. By the way, when it comes to the word sake, I think if there's like a, a, a sign thingy on top of the E, it's sake. Which is Japanese wine or something. Uh, please comment down below and just like let me know if if, uh, if it's spelled the same or whatever and, Can we and what's walk it different. Backwards up the stairs? I think that's totally the smarter irrelevant. idea. She can't sneak in an attack if we're facing her. No. The stairs are a bunch of overgrown roots. You'll trip and hurt yourself. But the princess is silent as you both continue the climb, and in no time at all, the upstairs of the cabin is within reach. Isn't that a relief? We're fine. Nothing happened. You're not See? even going to wait until you're through that door to proudly claim your victory, are you? Why did you just say that? I think we know why. You feel something dig into your shoulder, sharp and piercing. The princess clawing at you and pulling you down with her full weight. That bitch! Together you tumble back down the uneven stairs, your body and hers crashing against the unyielding wooden roots, until finally you both separate with a bone-shaking thud against the basement floor. You feel something pop. The princess lands against the fog. It was wall, in her nature. She struggles to recover from the impact. You're still in shock, trying to get a hold of yourself. She grins as you continue to remain exactly where you are, cackling derisively <laughs> as she watches you realize that you won't be getting up. Wait, why won't we be getting up? I'm afraid your back is broken. One unlucky fall is all it takes, really, and you had several. You know what? I'll say it. That sucks. <laughs> I don't like having a broken back. We were going to help her. Why? Why did she do that? It's what I would have done. Yeah. Have you considered not being like that? <laughs> of course not. It's what keeps us alive. And yet here we are, paralysed and stuck with someone who hates us in the basement of a remote cabin. You must have known this was coming. The arrogance of turning your back to me after everything you've done. Uh, I can't get up. You broke my back. What the hell was that for? I was trying to help you out of here. We were never going to get up to the stage where we... Uh, we could have gotten out of here if we just trusted each other. Why would I ever trust you? Your hands have spilled my blood. And knowing that, you should never have trusted me either. You should have known I would never walk hand in hand with a loathsome thing like you. By our very natures, only one of us could make it upstairs unscathed. Someone had to make the first move. Better me than you. See, this is why I wanted her to go first. I had this whole little scheme planned, where once she'd passed by the table upstairs, I'd have said, now pick up the blade and stab, and stab her in the back. back. And then you'd say something like, wow. That's an amazing <laughs> idea that I never saw coming. Thanks for looking out for us. And then you would have done it and we wouldn't be stuck down here with a broken back. There's just one problem with that. And what's that? She was clearly planning to betray us. And if she was in front of us, she would have gotten to the blade first. That's true. Ugh, you're right, aren't you? I never well, thought I about thought that. The whole thing was ironclad, but really it was doomed from the start, wasn't it? princess's body twitches as she tries to get up. 
Ah, oh, you bitch! Ha ha ha! You're broken as well! <laughs> She's as bad as us. <laughs> Something inside me is broken. Isn't that a cruel twist of the knife? Isn't that I so, so funny? I swear she looks just like the drawings on anime uh, One Piece, like... <laughs> she eyes you with intensity, silence falling between you for a long moment as her gaze travels up and down your battered form. Seems I'm not the only one, though. Yeah, we both fucked up. Are we both just stuck here? Certainly seems that way. What a way to go. But look on the bright side. In all this chaos, you may have actually managed to deliver a lethal wound. The world could be saved after all. We're going to die together. Isn't that a lovely treat? I wonder how long it'll take. Maybe I'll get to watch the worms lick your bones clean. Okay, well, all, we are really in the tree. What's going to happen? Hello? Are you still there? What happens next? He doesn't respond. I think he's gone. Something strange is twisting this place out of shape. I wasn't feeling much of anything, but now I feel cold. Bye bye. Wow, what a round? But you don't get the chance to respond, or will you ever? It's time to leave, memory returns. Where did she go? Should we try and find we, her? Is that a mirror? Why is there a mirror here? here? Why now? Explore, of course, you're scared. Uh, explore. It's going to be okay, We just, tr uh, just trust me. We've been here before, and you always get scared. Ah, whatever, approach the mirror. This approach the mirror. If he thinks it's bad, I'm with him. The voices feel small, doesn't as you approach. S silence as you reach forward, they're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You've unraveled. Okay, I can kind of see how I look. Good luck. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. Then we will find the deity. You're at the cabin. Approach her. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. I am curious to see what it means for us to know it. Do you think there are people out there? Do you think that anything is real out there? Do you think that, uh, that we're real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something, but nothing cannot exist on its own, and because of that, nothing can't exist. That's deep. Everything you say feels like a riddle. Can you give me a single straight answer? I'm sorry. Words are difficult for me. They never fully weave what I wish to say. If you do not like my answers, then you need not ask me questions. Agreed. The vessels you choose to bring me carry far more meaning than anything words could say in the spaces between. Okay. I'm ready to go back. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. Really? I will be here, waiting for you. Okay. So, I'm going to end the episode there. Let's see what happens in the next part of this game. I know it's a little bit deep for a lot of people. I've been made aware of that recently. But I actually, I'm a very deep person and I enjoy this game. So I hope you guys enjoyed it with me. And I'll see you guys in the next part. Coming soon. Let's go. Yeah.